one of the things we've been talking a lot with people this week has been about Google Universal and how it mainly has affected the organic results, uh, pushing them down the page uh, in some instances, in other instances really benefiting the more well-rounded sites that do have images, videos, and uh, alternative offerings. How has it affected AdWords though? Uh, I mean, I've been thinking a lot about this in terms of, you know, if you look at what we assume about the organic results today, uh, a, a winner site. Let's say you have a large content uh, site with a lot of good pages that are cur currently ranking well. Obviously we know that's going to change. We know some of that's going to uh, just be pushed down the page and it's going to be replaced by that multiple uh, you know, sources of content and objects on the same queries. That uh, For paid search, you know, that doesn't change. The paid search positions stay exactly the same. The premium spot on the top and the right hand margin don't move. So that actually means that the paid search program kind of comes through unscathed or more consistent throughout this. You, you don't think we'll see a big change in click-throughs, uh, click-through rates, and consequently affecting prices? Um, it, it, you know, that, yeah, that's an interesting question. It kind of depends on user intent. So on informational queries that might be uh, likely to have video or uh, all of these other things, it may well be Google is not showing a lot of high ticket ads on those queries anyway. Google, I guess according to Comscore, they're only showing ads on 56% of their uh, search queries uh, and that's 75% for Yahoo uh, and, and Microsoft. So Google um, is happy to show uh, pages without ads as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I think, again, then I think the shift won't be as great uh, as we might expect on the paid side. You were one of the early adopters of blogging in the space. You've got traffic going clear back to 99, really. Right. And, and it was, we didn't call it a blog back then, but it was essentially a blog back then. Uh, yeah. Has it helped promote your brand? or? Well, it's one of those things, any given day doesn't do anything for you uh, promoting your brand, and but it's hard to stop once you start. And you do have that, I think the following is, you know, it's, it's that uh, influencer audience. So it's, you know, people might stumble on it, but uh, it's in terms of sheer numbers, it's not huge, but it's, it's all of the folks that are paying attention. Um, so yeah, you know, it helps uh, people find you in strange ways online, so having a separate channel. Uh, you know, some of my ex-clients will type in my name and, and get that website, so not coming to my consulting site, not having my email address saved in their address book. They come through the contact form and get back in touch. And so, you know, I guess navigation uh, comes in many strange ways. Excellent. Organics. Speaking of organics, uh, what uh, what's the biggest trend you have seen the last year, aside from the universal um, and quality score, has affected organic in, in a lot of ways? I I, I think. Uh, what, what's the biggest trend you see? Well, I think the ongoing trend is just Google struggling to keep the the junk results out of the index. I know you know they went through this whole thing of developing the sandbox concept, and most people watching this probably have. Have, uh, have dealt with you know this idea that new sites will just face a long delay in getting indexed and getting getting rank. Um, so the idea of the supplemental index now, and you know I've had a couple of client sites. I don't do a lot of work with SEO, but uh, you know you get a bunch of uh, pages in supplemental because they're trying to kind of find all the low quality stuff and not index it. You can get caught in that, I think. So to me, the biggest trend is is um, some of the, the tricksters, uh, and really bad ones, I mean, duplicate content scrapers right. and all those guys, are, are doing okay, they're, they're winning. Mm -hmm. and, and trusted sites are still often um, losing. There's some kind of recent scandal, I think it was Dan Teese who uh, wrote up something like a proxy, uh, uh, proxy stealing or something, you can look into it, <laughs> but uh, trusted sites losing, uh, you know, losing their place to just bogus uh, tricks to steal it, basically, their traffic away. Mm -hmm. So what's Google going to do about that? Uh, I mean, not just that one trick, but but in general, you know, are they going to move towards more of an authentication system like paid inclusion? Uh, you know, does Google Webmaster Central help? And does that, if they augment that, that they get a history on webmasters, they, mm -hmm. they know you and trust you? They probably have to be looking into that kind of stuff. Right. Speaking of, that's a lot of information Google has about our sites uh, through Webmaster Central, through Google Analytics, through AdWords. Do, do you think we're giving too much information to them uh, across the web, across various properties that they own? 
Yeah, obviously we are, um, and and yet now that the you know the barn door is open, the horses have left. There's no way. I mean, uh, the um, the incentive is not just money in terms of like Google Analytics being free, which is a great product, obviously, um, but but time laziness. Uh, you know, uh, a client wants you to do something, and getting a report based on having Google's installed product is easier. It's always more integrated. So I don't really see us going in the other direction. Um, I do think, though, for uh, paid search advertisers, there is something they can do in terms of, I guess, exhibiting more caution around you know, Google coming direct to the larger advertiser. The small guy, maybe that optimization help is really helpful because they don't have the resources. But uh, uh, I think that idea that if you're a big bank, Google can help manage your campaign is odd because you have you have to win, and Google can't make all of the <laughs> uh, the competing companies in the auction win at the same time. So I think um, work with your agency or work in house, and don't you know work with Google on buying your traffic. So, so you've run into the situation where Google has offered to optimize your clients' Absolutely. campaigns. Sure, mm. um, and and I'm not going to say that I don't appreciate the service. We actually really appreciate a lot of the additional service Google now offers, but. Um, and, and small to mid-sized business, again, are probably going to need that uh, help, some of the help that's offered. But yeah, you know, large accounts are very important to Google, um, but um, I think they do need to respect the ecosystem. Agencies have always played a role, and, and, and obviously the um, ad buyers want, often want, third-party, mm -hmm. uh, unbiased mm -hmm. help in doing that. All right, we're out of time. Thank you for being with us, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Appreciate Brett. it.